Okay, I guess this is sort of one of the parts of the, the day that I like, is we give out awards to um, people that we think have really excelled in the digital, digital communication space, actually reaching, engaging with people and using that to sort of change behaviours. So we've got two awards today, one for a local government agency and one for a central government agency. Um, the first one goes to uh, Rosanna at Southampton, because I think the... I guess the kind of engagement that they've got there to put into context is 66,000 people, it's slightly more now, represents nearly 32% of the entire population of the city of Southampton. So any local government organisation here who's looking to engage and connect with people, I think you sort of agree that having that volume is quite a significant number. I mean, they're not all people in Southampton, as Rosanna said, but again, local government is looking to attract visitors from outside the area is looking to attract businesses in. So that kind of organisation is being drawn towards the city. So in terms of the um, sort of economic and um, development of Southampton, it works really, really well there. So I'd like to welcome Rosanna Lark and I'll present her with her award. photos afterwards with the um, winners smiling and obviously we'd like to get Emma in the photos as well because she's been absolutely key in driving a lot of this through as well in terms of the messages that go out. Uh, the other award goes to um, Bosa who aren't presenting today, perhaps I'll get Jay put on the spot to say a few really, really quick words. But Bosa have been really, really successful at attracting Again, quite a large audience. I mean, the, the Bosa, or Bosa audience is really quite niche, but you've got 77,000 people signed up receiving information, which has grown massively over the last year. So when you think about what Bosa is trying to do, that reach and engagement, getting people using the roads safely, complying with legislation, driver hours and things like that, MOTs, it's really important and it's given them quite a lot of reach. Um, we did a similar map to the one that Southampton showed earlier on to actually plot where both the subscribers are. And it's quite interesting that their reach goes far beyond the UK. <coughs> There's quite a large collection of lorry drivers in Warsaw that were signed up. So the reputation that some of the Polish lorry drivers have been able to attract that audience and promote safety of lorries is really, really key. The other thing I like about VOSA is they have been really, really competitive. Um, one of the reasons for working with Gov Delivery was the network was being able to get people who were going to high-risk agency subscribing to them, people using DSA subscribing to them. Right at the start, Bosa's aim was to get more subscribers than driving standards agency. <laughs> they promoted the service really, really well. They've got lots of subscribers from all over the place. And in the last six months, you overtook driving standards agency. It's been something that's happened quite recently, so I'd like to give the award to Jay and Jesse from FOSA. I'd like to challenge to John from DSA and Liz to um, I guess just pull your socks up. Yeah, actually, we're merging with DSA. <laughs> So with the both of us going, we might actually uh, meet the target maybe of uh, I don't know, 160 pounds in the room. Yeah, let's aim high. Let's get us there. But as I said, it's been a, a really great journey for us. We had to use um, go by digital by default. We had oh hectares of um, how do I say it um, publications which were um, very expensive to produce and weren't always read. And so basically, we just wanted it in the back. Been really successful, um, and actually, from analytics, we've discovered that we've got readers, as Dave mentioned, globally. And I think you all agree it's really important that I go out and interview them before anything. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.